of the Grammy Award winning band Arcade Fire were shocked this morning when they found out the band would be playing a concert in New Orleans tonight. Yeah, benefits from the last minute show at the Toulouse Theater will go to Ukrainian relief efforts. Photojournalist Derek Waldrop spoke to some fans as they waited in line for tickets. We love Arcade Fire. I didn't believe it at first. I'm uh, in town for a, f a couple of weeks. We woke up this morning and she was just looking on Instagram. I uh, cross-checked a bunch of sources. Opened up Instagram and there was a message from Arcade Fire. Found out it was real and uh, here without a shower in line. Uh, Arcade Fire is putting on a promotional concert uh, to support the Ukraine uh, humanitarian effort. I got here about 8 o'clock this morning and I thought I was going to show up and see a whole line and there was nobody here and I was like, oh, maybe I got the wrong place and then people started showing up. It was actually super surprising. We're here from Los Angeles. This is our last night in town, and Arcade Fire is probably one of our favorite bands, especially to see live, so it's kind of an amazing coincidence. It is uh, a great cause supporting what's going on in Ukraine right now, and uh, anything that we can help them out, uh, I'm certainly on board for, and uh, I think everybody else should be too. It's great that it's Ukraine too. We both have you know, been super bummed out and, and just uh, heartbroken by what's going on there. Um, so super excited to find a way to, to get back in some small way and, and do it with one of our favorite fans. Because I think all of us are really frustrated, like what's going on in Europe today, and, and uh, any way we can help and, you know, see some good music, that's always a benefit. That's why we're all lined up around yeah. the block. Should be a good time. Tickets to that concert don't have a set price. The band simply asked everyone to pay what they could to support the relief effort. They sold out in under three hours.